Hi everyone, I am Vanshika Arora. I got a rank of 7 in the INICT held in November 2022. I am here to share my journey with all of you. All these 5 years, they have been great actually, a mixture of ups and downs like everyone faces. So I would start with how I wanted to become a doctor. I think I've always aspired to become a doctor, more so because of my mother. She's an ophthalmologist and she really inspired me the way she handled her family and profession very nicely and beautifully, used to give us time and used to be very dedicated towards her work. I always considered her my role model and I just looked up to her and wanted to become like her one day. So I uh, was dedicatedly preparing for my NEET exams in UG days from 11th class onwards and getting into AIMS was one of my uh, dream come true basically. I can't express how happy I was the day I uh, got the result and I realised that I'm going to go to AIMS Delhi and more so because my mother is also from the same institute. So it was a very proud moment for my parents more than me. Then in my first year I actually got very uh, scared I was uh, because there's a paradigm shift of syllabus from what we study in 11th, 12th to what we study as an undergrad student. So I got really scared and I'm really thankful to my few friends and my parents who supported me so much and just motivated me to keep going and not give up. And I was able to uh, pass my mid with flying colours, that's why. And gradually the journey has become very beautiful. I think second years onward, that was uh, the best moment of my life. I can say these five years are the best years of my life. I haven't had so much fun ever. I've, I've attended all trips, all college functions I participated in. I took part in uh, dance, I took part in swimming and I've uh, been to a lot of trips with my friends. So I've enjoyed a lot these years. And from third year onwards, I was dedicated that I don't want to leave this institute. I just fell in love with AIMS and my only one goal was that I want to pursue my PG from the same institute. So that's when I started preparing for my exams. I started completing my notes and I was a little focused more on studies. Um, then internship onwards, obviously my goal changed and it was completely handling my clinical postings with my studies. Also, COVID had a big impact on our preparation. Like suddenly I was enjoying the clinical posting so much and then we were just asked to stay back in homes. So that time also I used to keep watching videos of uh, clinical cases and classes were held online. And then our institute also conducted seven days posting for each subjects, all the postings that we had missed. So we made it a point to be very regular with those postings to try to figure out which branch we are interested in. So I was in uh, Batch D, we had Village for the first three months and I was posted in a PHC, PHC Chesa for the first uh, three weeks and it was a great experience like over there I actually felt like a doctor for the first time we were the only uh, prime workers handling everything from OPD to EHCs to deliveries everything we were handling so it was a really great experience and that was the day when I realized that this is what I wanted to be all my life and this is what gives me the maximum happiness ever and uh, then I had my Ballabgar postings which is a secondary uh, healthcare centre so there we were in charge of the labour room conducting all the deliveries, screening for all the patients and that gives an immense sense of satisfaction actually so I joined DBMCI in my third year, I joined the foundation course in third year we started with Dr. Jay's and Dr. Rajat's classes I remember attending them face to face they taught in a very conceptual manner asking questions after every topic showing us the relevant images and I've always been in favour of face to face classes because the impact of face to face classes is always going to be bigger than anything which we see on our tabs and mobiles however unfortunately due to the covid lockdown we were not able to attend the face to face classes for too long so we all had to switch to attending the live classes and online lectures and there also uh, dbmci was proving to be a great help they switched all their modules online conducted live classes for us and uh, so these two years went by like that after that we had test and discussions so from my internship onwards, I started attending the TNDs regularly and I made it a point to write the test before I attended the discussion. So that was really helpful. We used to mark our weak topics and we could focus more on that. I would really like to thank Ashwini sir. Anatomy was one of my weakest subjects. I've always feared anatomy since first year itself. But he made it so conceptual and easy and diagrammatic that I was able to learn all the important topics very conveniently through his lectures. I watched all his lectures online. I've also attended Dr. Tamim's LMRP and TNDs online and he also really made things very concise. Like medicine is a very vast subject 
and he taught things in a very conceptual manner ecg i was able to understand properly only through dr thameem's classes so i'm really grateful to him also and for his motivation in between the lectures obviously i would really like to thank uh, dbmci institute they were always an integral part of my preparation uh, especially anu ma'am she is a great supporter i used to ask my queries on whatsapp and she was always there to answer i would also like to thank rajat sir i remember going to him in january just before my internship to take guidance as to how to go about the preparation he was very honest and he discussed everything in great detail with every subject he told me how to go about with each subject and he focused on face to face classes and he told us to keep attending the test and discussions always write the test first then attend the discussions and uh, how to solve the questions how to develop an mcq solving ability so i remember that two hours talk was a great motivation i had five of my friends also with me and we all were so dedicated to start a preparation that very day when we reach hostel so today we are here at dbmci's head office for the felicitation ceremony with all the top rank holders and i really appreciate this personal touch about the institute that they are still with us they are here guiding us about which branch to take and for those who have not been able to achieve a good rank according to their expectations how they can go about preparing for their neat so uh, right now only uh, uh, dr nachiket bhatia and anu ma'am were guiding us about how to go about with our preparation for neat and the branches we should take we are asking our doubts and it all feels very nice and homely and i can get a very family sort of feeling with this institute my dad has also accompanied me and i think it's a really proud moment for him as well so i feel really elated right now to be invited over here so preparing for these entrance exams is actually a tough a uh, journey i won't say it's a cake walk there are many hurdles we will be facing there are days when we feel down when we feel like let's just leave it all and just go and party that's when your uh, you know support system comes into play so we should just talk it out talk to your seniors talk to your friends talk to your parents and uh, take help and just keep going just don't give up because one day it will be all worth it trust your faculty trust the process and i'm sure you all will achieve your goal So here I would really like to thank all my seniors my friends my parents and my sister they've been a great support system for me all throughout my preparation and I would like to say consistency is what transforms average into excellence so i'm not a uh, someone who actually studies 16 hours a day i uh, i always take proper sleep for 8 hours and i've studied not more than 8 to 10 hours a day even in the last days of my exam but i've made sure to study daily so consistency has always worked for me there was not even a single day during my internship when i did not touch my books even if it was for 2 3 hours even of my birthday i have studied so i would just say that consistency is the key to success keep studying keep going and you will surely achieve what you've dreamt